All right? There's a lot of question out there about, you know, things that happen within society, especially, you know, this this is something that I think a lot of white people need because not because we're more racist than anybody else. We just get just the the consequences of us fucking up is so much harsher than other people because, uh, you know, we, we are the gold standard when it comes to racist. <laughs> we are in the driver's seat right now. We have been in the driver's seat for a while, basically meaning that if we are ignorant assholes, it, it has way more effect than when other people are. You know, back in the day when other people were running shit, that's the thing. Whoever's on top, if you're thinking ignorant, uh, that's, that's why, you know, if you're on top and you're thinking ignorant shit, you have to be called on it because uh, – just because the, cause the effect that you can have. You know what I mean? Like if somebody from Bangladesh fucking hates me, that's such a stupid example, okay? That, that's not a race of people. I don't even know where Bangladesh is, and i got to be honest with you. I don't even know if that's a city or a country. Bangladesh. Have you ever seen that on uh, The Price is Right? You know, a showcase showdown. We're sending you to Bangladesh. And some white trash person like myself sits there with a confused look on their face like, I don't know where that is. Is that where the terrorists are? I don't want to go there. Whatever. Like if Filipino people fucking hate me, that doesn't affect my life. It doesn't. I'm not going to go into a job interview at, 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 you know, Walmart is not run by Filipinos. You know what I mean? You know, not saying there's anything wrong with Filipinos. All right. See, see what I have to do right there as a white person? Don't say I'm saying anything bad about Filipinos. Just be clear here. I have never had issues. I have never had a bad attack. I'm not fucking all that shit. You got to go to the Jerry Lewis voice there. Lady. Um, so, yeah, people have questions. So here we go. And I think all races should chime in. The questions that you have, if you have feelings about a different race of people and you just think uh, you're thinking something funny, there's nothing malicious, but is this offensive? Is it racist? This is This is the new topic, okay? And if you feel that I answer these questions like the ignorant white man that I am, uh, call me out on it. Um, here, So here we go. This first one. Uh, Bill, is it racist to call Indians dibu-dabus? And I'm talking about the Asian ones, not Native Americans. I'm, I'm guessing by dibu-dabus you mean dibu-dabu. You're saying like that? Dibu-dabu? Um... Is it racist? Probably, but it's fucking funny. So that knocks it down a little bit. This is what I feel that makes something like racist. It's like, like the reason why uh, that one isn't as offensive is because we haven't, we never enslaved them. That's the reason why white and black shit is so sensitive is because of the shit that we did to them. But we haven't really fucked with those people, you know? So if the black version of that was, is it is it offensive to call black people, hey, man, motherfucker, or whatever? Yes, that would be offensive. <laughs> if you did some sort of mocking of the way they spoke, yes, that would be that would be offensive. If some CEO was giving a speech and I was driving, uh, actually, I was having someone else drive my town car, <laughs> And we drove by a group of, uh, yo, motherfuckers. And uh, they proceeded to walk towards, yeah, you'd have to apologize. So I guess, yeah, I guess technically, like that would be, <laughs> that would be offensive. Is it racist? Um, this is what I, I really, I really, it's hard for me to say because it, it had, it's what's in your heart, you know? Because I make fuck, I really I make fun of of everybody, you know. I mean, I play a game out here uh, when someone is making. Uh, let me ask you. I got a question for you. Is this racist? I have a game out here when I ride around with Nia, and she does not approve of this. To keep her in the clear, she does not approve of this. When somebody makes a moronic move in front of me, you know, driving, you know, just makes a fucking horrific move. I play a game called Old or Asian. <laughs> and you have to guess when, because I'm going to pass the person because I got to see what they look like. You know, whenever somebody does something fucked up, some comedians used to do a great joke about that. You just want to see what the fuck they look like, right? Uh, that's the game, old Asian. So as I speed up my little hybrid to try to pull parallel to them, I always say, What do you say, Nia? What are you going with? Old Asian. What do you got? 
older Asian. And she goes, I'm not playing this game that's mean. And then I was going, I'm going to go with old. And then I pull up, oh, it's fucking Asian. You know, or, oh, I nailed it. It was an old guy. So um, is that racist? I'm sure it's offensive, but within the context of my own car, you know, I'm not yelling at anybody. And I got to admit, you know, there's a lot of truth in the fucking game. Yeah, Jesus, I'm going to have to apologize next week on the podcast. So I would say that uh, Indian people, why don't you chime in? I would say that, yeah, that they would find that they would find that uh, offensive. Um, is it racist? Let me see if I can use it in a sentence here. Hey, uh, you know, I, I called up customer service and, uh, you know, one of those dibba answered and tried to tell me that his name was Steve and act like he was in uh, Kentucky. But I, I, I know that he was actually in India because when he talked, he was going, dibba what? How could I help you? Um, is it racist? Probably. You know what? Something bad has to happen between white culture and uh, or, or Western culture and uh, Indians. So you know what I mean? It's like uh, it's like you're playing a team and there's no rivalry. Like Patriots versus Jets this year was like uh, whites and blacks. It was bad. It was a lot of hate, you know. But like Patriots versus like the fucking Lions, you know. Yeah, there's going to be some shit talk. It's it's knocked down. But it still hurts if somebody says something mean. <laughs> I don't I really don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, let's move to the next one. The next one on the new controversial topic on the Monday morning podcast. Is it racist? All right, here we go. Um Bill, I had an interesting experience today apparently involving me as a racist. I was walking with two of my coworkers who are both black. Oh, Jesus, here we go. Um, we were going to go get some lunch. One of my coworkers, who I'm also friends with, uh, uh, did a little high five fist bump shuffle with one of the female sec- security guards at the front desk. Knowing both of them and how they interact with one another, I kind of made a in passing comment to the tune of, man, you guys in your handshakes while obviously laughing, <clears throat> laughing, while obviously laughing at just how choreographed it was and more or less picturing them in a studio or something working out the logistics to get the fucking handshake perfect. Anyways, we all laughed and moved on and we got our lunch. All right, so nothing wrong yet. So you're cool with these people, you made a joke, and everybody laughed. No problems, no problems so far. Um, however, after coming back through secure, uh, back through security, I noticed the security guard stopped me and kind of had a scowl on her face. I thought she was mad at me for something, but it turned out she was mad at this other lady who was black because she overheard my comment and was telling, uh, that security guard that she couldn't believe I had the nerve to say something like that. And I should be ashamed also to the point where she could um, – almost to the point where she could actually go cl- complain to the human resource people because she was offended, um, et cetera, without even considering that maybe, just maybe, I was talking about the security guard and my c- coworker and not all black people. Now, it being corporate America and all, I'm sure rather than even face the pos- possibility of any bad press – They'd rather just sweep me out the door and completely ruin my re- any reputation that I may or may not hold at the company just to save their own asses. I feel I did nothing wrong and had no intentions of ever doing anything wrong. Anything wrong. I'm not going to go on and on about how I kiss black babies and try to rehabilitate inner city schools because I don't. But I'm certainly not some corn-fed, rebel flag-waving, ignorant product of what might be incest. I guess my question is, do we really have to walk on eggshells when we are just making casual conversation that just any that just any cunt can pick apart, select the context that they might think it is in, and then start crying foul? Basically, I would have liked to call that woman a cunt and told her to go fuck herself, but let's just say I was already kind of worried about my job. All right. See? Um... 
Yeah, I think this is this is the classic one where you were fucking around. The other two people knew you were fucking around, but then one person just decides to get offended, and then you have to go on TV and apologize, which personally I think is the wrong move because when you apologize, now it's like you're, you're admitting that you meant it in a bad way. I mean, the apology I would do there is say, look, you know, I'm sorry that you didn't understand that I was joking, but I'm not going to sit here and apologize like I have any, any sort of ill will coming your way. You know, but I but just to avoid the problem in the future, uh, white people do not use the expression "you guys" or "you people" <laughs> when talking about black people. That's just it, it's just not going to. You're you're setting yourself up for someone to get offended, and um, there's a weird sort of uh, push pull going on with that whole uh, "you guys" and "you people" thing, where. Um, when somebody white says that, there becomes this concern of um, <clears throat> that you're separating. You're separating, like yeah, you know, you people over there with how you live your lives, and we're over here. Black people have that weird relationship with white people where they're like, you know, can you stop stealing our fucking music and our culture? And but then, like, if something, you know. Hey, let's pave the streets, you know? Well, make sure you do it in our neighborhood. We're all in this together, right? All of us together? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's that weird sort of fucking push-pull thing going on. So, yeah, just avoid uh, avoid the whole fucking, um, yeah, you fucked up. You didn't fuck up, but you, you left yourself open for a sucker punch by saying you guys, you know, uh, that's... I guess that that's what it is. I don't know. That's 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 my – I'm basically a white guy telling a white guy how he fucked up. So black people, if you're listening to this thing, uh, please, please help me out here. Did I basically get it right? Is that essentially it? And I know most people wouldn't get offended. All right. So there you go. That's the new, that's the new topic. Is it racist? And I would love to hear um, some honest comments from uh, non-white people about their thoughts, you know. The fucked up ones, too. Okay? Because I've watched enough Spike Lee movies to think that evidently it's just us, but I've hung around enough people from different races to realize, oh, yeah, everybody's like this.